Hello and thank you for joining me here at Angie B Crafts. Today's video is going to be having a look at the new paper pack that's just been launched by Shiny Silver Treasures. Shiny Silver Treasures is a lovely company owned by Dawn Ditchburn um, and she has most recently brought out this paper pack. Now I've not got her whole kit, she does a card making kit and other bits and bobs but she I'm not officially on her team um, but she knew that these papers were me so she wanted to see what I could do with them <laughs> which is very kind of her thank you very much Dawn anyway this is the paper pack you get as it says here 30 sheets of paper 10 designs so that's three of each and you get a quick reference as to what the different ones are now each one of these has been made by Dawn and then photographed and then printed so they're made from what I recall from alcohol inks I do believe and I'm just looking the most obvious one for alcohol inks is actually the yellow one if I show you on here this one where you can see the colours been pushed out so one thing that I do like about Dawn is the way she does the colours so you've got a colour suitable for everything greens if you're into greens this is perfect this one it looks like it could be a google maps of the earth a part of the earth a particular country or even an island then again there's also a look of a little rhinoceros with a stumpy thing anyway yeah this is the thing about alcohol inks the paper that they're on it's um i'm not sure what the gsm is i'd say it's about a 110 120 gsm um and it has got a coating on it so what you may find is that you need to use a clear gesso over the top if you're wanting to use certain products on here but just have a play with it when you get them you get so many of them I mean three sheets of each it means you can take a piece of each one and or just one of them and have a play so this is the green one then from green we go on to greens with a hint of blues and purples coming in and then we go on to a little bit more purple and then we go on to the blue I think this is absolutely stunning I don't know if it's because I've got a bit of an obsession with the sea at the minute because I'm doing lots of sea swimming but this is oh I love it absolutely love it again this one was sticking with the blues and the purples but you've got bigger areas of color here so what you could do if you wanted a particular color is just cut that one color out then we start getting a hint of pink coming in and then we get a slightly different hue of a purple so if we go back to the other purples on here there's a little bit of purple so you can see it's more pinky purple on here this is more of a blue purple and then we go on to the pinks and reds isn't that lush that just looks like a lipstick palette to me lots and lots of different colors of lipstick have just been put onto the page love it then we go on to the oranges and the yellows this looks like she's actually cut fruit open and then taken photographs of it or something done under an electron microscope or a really powerful microscope where you're actually getting down to cellular level then again this looks like a fried egg <laughs> i love this one and i love this one these two i think are my favorite too i do really like them so that's the paper pack so as i say you get three of each so that's 30 sheets of a4 paper now I have had a little play with them just let me show you another thing that she sent me as well she's put together a tag pack so it comes there are 15 tags in it now I have used some of mine which is why there's some missing so you get five of these big ones and ten of the little ones but as I say I've used some of mine so these two you get two that are similar as well so you can see how this works doo, doo, doo. so you can tell the ones I've used oh no that one goes on there oops come here so we have two of each with the cubes on two of each with the flowers on two of each with the splats two of each with the pale circles two of each with the overlapping circles but I've used one and then this is to this this is to this this is to this and then we get a larger one with this and a larger one with this so I'll just show you a few of the bits that I've already had a play with so I'll bring the tags in first so you can see the tags so this was the very first thing that I made 
so you can see it's one of the larger tags and all I have done on here is actually use some spray ink on it um, with the tags don't let me forget you also get lots of string lots and lots and lots of string so you're never going to have insufficient and the string will also take inks quite well you can see there I've just coloured up that string so this was just my initial play with how do they take the ink and I just sprayed on two colours um, I believe this was the eyes ink spray inks although it could have been distress I'm not can't quite remember um, what I noticed is where the ink is you get some little bobbling of the paper because the paper that hasn't got ink on hasn't got any coating on on these so it's slightly different um, and I, I actually really like the way that this has come out I just think that is perfect just all you need on there is a sentiment and you've got either a tag that you can write on the back of as a, a gift or you can stick it on a card and it's a perfect topper but I just really like the look of that so you can see that matches in oh no actually that's a separate one I lied when I said there was some in every shape there isn't right this one is the other one of these so all I've done on here again I've just sprayed it onto the paper um, so it's taken the ink quite nicely again we've got the pilling where the ink is it's, I'm calling it pilling it's more like a blobbing it's almost like it breaks through the ink but for me that adds texture and then you've also got other little bits around here that are just where the ink is doing its thing I've highlighted some of the circles with a white Posca pen then I've used one of the sentiments from one of her earlier sets I think it was the first release and this paper is actually from the first release as well so this is just showing you you can bring in the papers from previous sets if you have any of the previous sets that the Dawn's released and they work perfectly again this is a perfect topper and if I had a piece of white card just let me show you how that would be so that as a card topper I think is rather nice it's simple it's clean the idea behind these papers and things is for probably for people very unlike me because as you can tell from the state of my hands I like to get messy a lot of people out there don't so having papers that have already got color on them means that you don't have to get messy so all the various colorways that you get in here are perfect if you don't like to get messy with the tags if you're not keen on stamping or if you're someone who's maybe not used to making tags and just doesn't know what to do with them sometimes if you get just a blank tag like that that can be quite intimidating if you're not used to it these are giving you a base to work from and you can then do as you please with them so the other thing that I've done with the tags is I've made this page in one of my art journals so this is my pink pig art journal and I always have to show people the front page of the pink pig art journal just because look there's all little pigs on it and they're so cute and I love them I have far too many pink pig journals a lot have got stuff in them a lot haven't a lot are just blank journals so on this one I've used one of the background papers and I've just given it a torn edge and then I've put a colour of um, what did I use on the back I just used crayons yeah I just used my art crayons my Vicky Bootin art crayons just around the edge of the paper so I've not covered the whole of the paper just around the edge and then the torn edge I've gone round with a brown crayon then I've added some texture just using this is an all and create stencil and some sand texture paste then I've used the large tag here the one that you can see it's got the dots in the background so even if you wanted to just leave it coloured you don't have to put the texture I've added this texture on using again just some sand texture paste and just applying it with a spatula I've then coloured up this separate but gone with similar colourways to the background paper and then I have added on some really nice gilding wax both onto the background where it's raised and onto the tag where it's where it raised and then we have always believe in yourself which is a sentiment from the very first release that Dawn did and the other thing that I have made is 
just a really simple heart it's an mdf heart and all i did was stick on one of the pieces of paper so you can see that's one of the green ones I'll just show you on here so it's from this one um i just stuck it on using some mod podge then i used this is an all and create piece of washi tape and this one at the back i believe is uh diane reevely or it could be dina wakely can't quite remember um so i just colored them in as in color match them this has got the green and the red then i picked the red out and used that to highlight around it and then i just this was a white leaf little wooden leaf that i had I've gone around the edges with the red and the top in the green just to bring it in with the rest of it and to me that's just something that you could give to someone as a gift um you could write on the back of it sort of your sentiments to the person but that's something that people would happily have either sitting on their desk or sitting on a shelf in the office or wherever i quite like that i think these papers are a really good way of doing it now each one of these i have pretty much managed to get messy on because that's who i am but as i say the benefit of these is the papers mean you don't have to get messy if you don't want to so keep an eye out i will be doing some more videos with these papers just to show you how simply you can actually use them as a base i mean on this one if all i'd used was the paper and the washi tape that would have been sufficient so if you're not keen on having hands that look like this then maybe getting papers that like this would be a starting point for you thanks very much for watching bye for now